Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm KPG, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses Maddening. Today, like I said uh, prior to this episode, I have done a lot of exp of the uh, stuff around the monastery that I wanted to get done for exploring. Um, but there are a few things I wanted to do with you guys. First of all, um, you know how last time we only had uh, sh a support with Shamir and Byleth? Well, now we have a support. Byleth has a support with Manuela, Shamir, Mercedes, and Annette. So we have four supports that we're um, going to be doing today prior to the uh, mission. Uh, or at the very least, three, because there are three available right now. Uh, and then after that, we will go do the two tournaments on the training grounds. Uh, so basically what I have already done is I went around... Uh, did all the lost item stuff, talked with all the students, got some of our students' motivations up and stuff. And I also got our faith leveled up to C+. So we're going to do these supports, then we are going to try to see if we can recruit any of um, anyone yet. Like out of Lysithia, Mercedes, um, and Annette. Because they would be the ones that would be ready to be... They would be the ones that would have would be closer to being recruited if not actually being able to be recruited but first like i said we're going to do these supports because that would make it more likely for us to be able to recruit annette and mercedes specifically whoa not that not that one okay so we go if we go up and over here there should be a yeah, support waiting for us and it's with manuela oh, all right sure what do you what do you got to say this is a b rank support i think professor a pleasure to see you are you praying? I've never been very good at praying. I was here to confess my foolishness. While I'm at it, may I confess something to you too? Go ahead. I realize what a burden I've been. On you, I mean. After every breakup, I neglect my work. And I know how that affects you. I'm completely worthless as a woman. Can you imagine how that feels? Oh, I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. I just know it. Maybe with that attitude. You think so too, don't you? <laughs> you could just straight up say yes. Yes. <laughs> well, I really don't want to say that. So I'm just going to be nice and say no. Really? So if I couldn't find anybody else, you'd marry me? I never said that. <laughs> but, hey, who knows? Maybe. Maybe Byleth could marry you. You are one of the options, after all. Oh, don't worry. I can tell by the look on your face you didn't mean it. <sighs> What's wrong with me? It's not my looks. I'm still gorgeous. Or am I? Be honest. Do I look old? No, not possible. I'm the songstress who swept the Empire off its feet. Men professed their love for me hourly. It can't be my looks. These both mean the same thing. <laughs> You're attractive. I knew I was right. I'd be in real trouble if I weren't this beautiful. Oh no. If the problem isn't my looks, and they are not the problem, then it must be... What? My personality? Well, let's just say that that is probably the case. <laughs> I, um, well, you know, maybe. I know you're trying to find a way to say it gently, but you think there's a problem, don't you? Well, we could, uh, we could double check with Hanneman. We could let him explain it. I don't think he'd be able to say it gently, but. I suppose I can be a bit unkempt. I do have a short temper, and I may be a little lazy sometimes, but I've always heard fellas, you know, like a woman with a few flaws. Seems to me there are plenty of flawed girls who have landed themselves a good man. So maybe my trouble is I'm not imperfect enough. Do you think I could use a few more flaws? <laughs> no. Please do not. Are you saying I'm perfect as I am? Come now. You'll make me blush. You know what? Believe what you want to believe at this point, Manuela. It seems like that is the best... <laughs> that's my... The best advice Byleth could give is just... 
Do what you want, and I will agree with it. <laughs> That's the fastest way to fastest way to get things done, I guess. All right, so the next support should be right over here, and it's with Mercedes. Now is a great time. What do you have to say? Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it. I am still working because it's not night. It's the day, but it's, so late in the evening. That must be exhausting. it's really not, but okay. Try not to overtax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Even so, <laughs> we'll all die if I don't. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, I had my doubts when I first met you. <laughs> That's surprising. I'm the greatest. Ah, uh, why is that? At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. I mean, Manuel is only like 36, so it's yeah, not like. You seemed very composed and mature despite your age. It's not like it's that far off. We're like what, like 20, 21? I mean, I guess it's a considerable difference, but still. Sure that everyone is cared for, but it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. No, I'm trying too hard to not get anyone killed. That's more like it. Comes with the territory. I gotta make sure we all live. You feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. Yeah, let someone else take over the tactics during a battle. We'll see how that goes. Oh, everyone died? Huh, so surprising. Mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Mistakes? Oh, you know. I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my. Oh, um. Well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. How do you forget my that? Mind can be so scattered sometimes. I mean, I know in, uh. I know people have dreams about that kind of stuff, but I don't know how anyone would actually do that. Anyway, where was I? You have to be very distracted. Oh, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me, is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? You could join my class. If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. You could join my class. I appreciate it. Join my class. I look forward to you helping me out when you join my class. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she'll join our class. Uh, so there's one more available right now. I suspect the other one's going to happen pretty soon after once we get back to the calendar. I'm sure once we get back to the calendar, that's when everything is going to happen. Or, in any case, that's when we'll have that last support. Alright, Annette. So I guess Shamir's the only one left after this? Alright. What's on your mind? Do you have a moment? Of course. Anything for you. Well, as long as you join my class. Battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Sure. Great. Thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Come on, we learned this forever ago. Or at least we did. Yay, I finally get it. You really are a great teacher. Increases your avoidance and your defense. If you would have been in our class from the start, or if you would have been in my class from the start, you would have already known this. Always happy to help. I knew asking you was the right idea. <laughs> I just love learning new things. That's why I came to the Officers Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and... and martial arts? All kinds of stuff. Okay. Annette the Ninja? I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. Don't overdo it. Trust me. It's not That's a good idea. Not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. 
Honestly, don't don't try to spread yourself thin like that, Annette. If you if you try to master too many skills, you will end up being bad at everything. That's exactly how it went my first playthrough of this. I tried to get Byleth uh, to have good skill ranks in every single weapon, everything, and the best he got was like B plus, and I think like an A in sword, but like no S rank at all in anything, which is a, it was really dumb. Don't do that. <laughs> Never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? Not really. I don't relate at all. But a day without accomplishments is completely wasted. Yeah, but I'm not a morning person. Sorry. Not to mention. Oh wait. Oh no. I was supposed to be on cooking duty today. Oh, I completely forgot. Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help. Well. Ah! Put this stupid barrel here. <laughs> okay. We'll have fun running around all the time. I will have fun not doing that. All right. Great. So. Yeah, there's n the other one with Shamir is not available yet. Uh, it's still... Yeah, she's still ready to speak. Her bond is still ready to go, but she is not... Or her support is not anywhere on the screen. So we'll have to do that at a later point in time. But for now, we can try to recruit Mercedes, Annette, and Lysithia. I am not entirely sure that it is going to happen. But we can at least try and see if we need to keep working on anything in the meantime. There's really no reason not to at least try. Alright, nope, she wants magic and bow. Oh, that's right, Mercedes wants bow, I forgot. Well, I thought she wanted something different. Well, never mind, we're probably not getting Mercedes, because our bow rank is garbage. Hey, but maybe we can get a net. Chance. Absolutely. Uh, really? Oh, uh, thank you. I'm so so happy right now. I just Me know too. I'll learn all sorts of things with your guidance. I can't wait. Let's go. Annette has joined our house. Excellent. So, let's check her out actually. So she's a level 19 mage. She fits in perfectly with everyone else pretty much. Level wise and such. Uh, she comes with a bullion, so free $1,000 for us. She's got wind, cutting gale, and fire for magic. She's almost to B rank reason. Ooh, but like, that's all she's got. She's got reason and authority. Okay, you know when I said don't spread yourself too thin? Don't, don't, uh. Or you should at least spread yourself somewhat. Goodness. Okay, well, we'll have to try to fix this then. Uh, what are her stats like? I haven't even looked at those. So she's got 29 HP. It's fine for a mage. 11 strength. 23 magic. That's pretty dang good. 17 dexterity. 13 speed. Yeah, she, I mean, she's not that great. But, I mean, she's not terrible. She's got rally strength, which is pretty good. I mean, and rally resistance on her other thing. So she can rally strength and resistance at the same time. So if we want Edelgard to go in and face some magic units, then I guess Annette would be our girl to help out with that. So yeah, she's currently in the mage class. Alright. Cool. Well, we got Annette, so that's pretty great. Uh, I think that means hopefully we should be able to get Lysithia. I don't know if they have the same, like... Um, the same amount of faith and the same amount of magic I need to recruit them, but they both have the same requirements. I'm sure. Like, as in they both want the same things from Byleth to be recruited. So, to me, it would make the most sense if she was able to be recruited right now, but I'm not sure. Yes? Can I help you? I bet you've come to invite me to your class. What with my stupendous grades and all, I would actually enjoy being in your class quite a lot. Alright, it works. So it seems like the magic amount, or it seems like the amount that works like for sure in order to recruit units, it seems is you need to have at least C plus in, in the whatever they're asking for, and then if they're asking for a stat, be at least 15, because I think we have like 
16 magic and then C plus and faith. But yeah, absolutely. In my class. Awesome. I said that you joined your house. Beautiful. So that means we now have three students from outside of our house. We've got Lysithia, Annette, and Felix. Two. We have two blue lions and one golden deer. And a whole heck a ton of bullions. We have two bullions. Now that's the best part about recruiting them. It's all that money. Now I, is, I would suspect that Lysithia is going to be a better mage. Just because I played the Golden Deer route, and I'm pretty sure Lysithia is just going to be a better mage straight up. But we could check. We could definitely check. Um, ooh, well, <laughs> 25 magic, 19 dexterity, 16 speed. She, <laughs> what a surprise! She has more magic and more speed than Annette. Ooh, and she's got more magic as well. She got Miasma, Swarm, Luna, Fire. Yep. She's got C plus in reason, C plus in authority, pretty much the same. She's got a lot of weaknesses, but she can become proficient in sword. Uh, but she's got reason and faith as strengths, which is really, really good. Plus, she's got mastermind, which doubles skill experience earned in battle. Really, really good. Uh, so just in general, she is a really good unit. She also has two crests, much like Edelgard. She's got the crest of Gloucester. How's Gloucester's crest? Occasionally rages, raises might during magic attacks. So it's basically uh, Lawrence's crest. Or the, the crest of Lawrence's house. And then the minor crest of Karen. House Karen's minor crest. Inherited from Karen of the, the ten elites. Sometimes raises might when using combat arts. And Karen, the minor crest of Karen, I believe... Doesn't... Uh, I think uh, Ingrid has it. And I... Yeah, I think Ingrid has it. Uh, but we don't have Ingrid. At least not yet. <laughs> We could try to recruit her. I don't think we have enough... I don't think we have enough stuff to be able to recruit Sylvain or Ingrid yet. But we can check, because they were two of the units that um, I was suggested to recruit. One of them was Lysithia, and we just got her, so that's pretty cool. I guess I clicked on Felix by mistake. Alright, so we can What's ask up, him. Professor? Yeah, no, like I said, he's not ready. Charm reason. So, I think that we definitely can get Sylvain. Our reason's not, like, terribly high, but if we do a lot of um, faculty training in the future, and especially if we can get our charm leveled up, we might be able to get him for sure. Uh, and especially if we could get up to B rank in uh, B rank support with either him or Ingrid, that might be able to work out so we might still be able to recruit them yet oh uh, we can double check with ingrid i'm pretty sure she wants flying and something else like maybe dexterity i'm not entirely sure ah uh, there she is but we can double check but if if we absolutely have to i can just totally load her and sylvain up with a ton of gifts and try to get up to b rank support and then that should make it easier to recruit them. Good timing, Perf. Will you put me in your class too? Hold on. There are so many things I want to learn from you. Being in another class makes it especially challenging. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to studying under you. You, you, you. We had enough. We had enough to recruit you. I will be extra diligent with my studies. Thank you for this opportunity. Maybe the requirements for flying armor and riding are lower than they are for regular weapons? That's the only reason I can think of, because she wanted flying, correct? And if we go to Byleth, we only have a D in flying. If that's the case, honestly, we might be able to get up to D in heavy armor and also be able to recruit... Um, What's his name? Raphael. Our reason's at D+, plus, so if we keep using, like, um, if we keep using reason magic in battle, and if we do some faculty training, we can definitely get that high enough to be able to recruit Sylvain, I think. Now, what did he want with it? He wanted charm. Our charm is 25. We have a lot of charm. So we might even be able to recruit him at C rank in reason, honestly. 
So we might actually be able to recruit all of the units that I was recommended to recruit. And then some! Because if we can also recruit Annette, Felix, which we've already gotten those two, and Raphael, that'd be pretty great. And we'd have some units from Blue Lions and some from Golden Deer. I don't know that I'm definitely not probably going to... I'm probably not going to use everyone I'm recruiting long term. Um, but it's nice to just have them. Um, and then we have the option to get supports with them and stuff. And then we also... There's also another really good reason to recruit them. Um, that I don't need to get into right now. Okay. He's not interested right now. Strength heavy armor. I don't know, whatever. Alright, but I wanted to come here anyway. So, yeah, that's that's fine. The, the only unit left that I really need to work on, then, is being able to recruit Sylvain. I mean, I guess... There are another couple of units that I would like to see if I could recruit. <laughs> um, that I guess I just don't know if I have checked yet. But I do remember Cyril being a playable unit. I don't know. When the risk, that's a, I pray that... He must not be available to recruit yet. Because I remember having Cyril. Um, then I'm pretty sure we could also... Some of the knights are away. Um, I'm pretty sure we can also recruit... Alois and... Catherine, but they're not here, so we can't do that right now. And I think we can recruit Sedith at some point as well. But since he's in the that one paralogue we still have yet to do, I would definitely not want to recruit him yet. Because I'd prefer to keep him busted <laughs> rather than nerfing him by recruiting him. Alright, so just wanted to check. So mainly it was just Cyril that I needed to check. Alright, but now we got some tournaments to do. Um, and I've already gotten a stat booster, by the way. A stat boosting meal. I did plus one defense. So I don't know if I... I probably didn't, like, show it. But our defense is at plus one with everyone, like I was talking about. So there's that, and that's pretty good. Um, so we have this tournament with Byleth. And I think I'd, I mean, I'd rather do it in a different class, probably. Uh, because we don't have as much strength. Actually, we have the same amount of strength in Priest as we do in Thief. What about in... The same strength. Same strength. We actually just don't lose strength. Well, then I guess we can stay as a Priest... All right, I would have thought... I still don't know that we're strong enough to do this, but we can try. I mean, we're level 21, so we're level 20 or higher. It's... It's worth trying. It's fine. Even if it, we, it doesn't work out, it's fine. At least we tried. So we do four damage per turn. We can take four hits. I don't know. I guess it just depends on how many turns we're allowed to go. Because I'm... Pretty sure this ends at some point. We got the Crest of Flames. Okay, if we can get our Crest to activate, we could definitely do this. Yeah, see, it ends at some point. And I don't know why the other student wins, because I'm pretty sure we had more HP, and we, like, I don't understand why there's a set turn limit. It's the dumbest thing ever. So, we need to get, like, a few more points of strength, like, Two or three more points of strength, and then we can probably do it. But I think it's just dumb that they don't let you go until one of one of the units drops. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. But I think with the bow tournament, I think Dor or Bernadetta should be able to do it now. She's a bit stronger. And because she was pretty close to doing it the first time, so I think she can do it now. She just destroys Ignat straight up. Two shots him. And also, now she's five points of strength stronger, I think. Because I think Persecution Complex still activates. So, there's a bit more stuff we're doing before the... Yeah, we're doing a bit more stuff before the mission than I thought. Ooh, nice. Nice crest. 
We're doing a bit more before the uh, mission for this month than I thought we were going to do. Which is... I mean, I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate, I suppose, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Um, if we have to, we'll split the... Um, we'll split the Chapter 10 mission into two episodes if we have to. Uh, this is the semi-finals. We have two... We can restore HP twice. We've got to do this, but then that makes us weaker. Ah, we're just... We're just shy of being able to do enough damage. I wish I could have healed her up, but not all the way. Well, there's always the chance we get a lucky dodge or a lucky... Crest activation, so still worth a try, I guess. Crest? Am I done yet? Oh wait, 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 wait. Persecution complex. I'm, I'm dumb. After she got hit, persecution complex activates, and now she should be strong enough to take Claude down. And since she's 100% accurate, she can actually just take him on without healing, because uh, that persecution complex. Yep. All right, Bernadetta wins. Perfect. All right, well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought that thief was taking us down, but then I forgot about... I forgot about Persecution Complex activating. And we get an advanced seal, a thousand gold. Not bad. Cool. We still have to win that proper conduct tournament at some point, though. Gosh dang it. All right, well, anyways, that's it for that. So let's end the free time. And looks like we're going to have some debriefing or something. Professor, I know where the enemy is, where Solon is. You do? Also, I didn't see... Also, we didn't have Shamir come up to talk to us. So I hope we're not missing that support. That would really suck if we missed the opportunity to bond, to deeper the bond, deepen the bond with her. It's not like that big of a deal, like, especially not a big enough deal to go back, but it would just kind of suck and be annoying. I still think it's really dumb that you can miss a support in this game. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's let's just not do that. <laughs> can we go back in, to the time when you could just view the support whenever you want? They're in a place called the Sealed Forest, close to the monastery. Hmm. The Archbishop is gathering the knights to begin a search. She's doing so in secret. Behind our backs. Ray is doing this in secret? Why? She must be afraid that a thirst for revenge will compel you to seek them out. But, 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 but why not? Like, why, why would she be afraid of that? Why can't we just seek revenge? Now that you know, will you give us the order? Oh. No, I will not allow it. Well, wow. <laughs> that was fast. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. You can't stop me. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Hey, you won't lose me. I've got... I've got a way to rewind time. Lady Rhea, our professor is not acting out of revenge. Sending us out there is the most strategic move we can make. You can't deny it. Most of the knights are still far away. Not only does our professor wield a hero's relic, but there is no one here who is more powerful. Except for you yourself, Edelgard, but yeah, thanks for talking me up a lot. Sadith and the few remaining knights can't leave the monastery unattended. We have fought under our teacher's command countless times. We are the most effective army here, and we are already prepared for battle. We have no idea what the enemy is plotting. We must act now. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? I agree with everything except the fact that she said I'm the strongest one here. <laughs> That is Edelgard. I will give you the order. But hey, the point still stands that we're the strongest because we still have Edelgard. 
It's just that I'm not the strongest. That is hiding in the sealed forest. Gotcha. You have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. Let's go, my teacher. Whatever happens, do not lose your conviction out there. All right. Let's do this. Tomorrow. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, hopefully we didn't miss it. Hopefully we didn't miss the support. No, we haven't missed the opportunity, so... I guess she just wasn't ready to speak. Alright, we have a bunch of other supports. Uh, but I don't really feel like doing them right now. Uh, but yeah, now we have Ingrid, Annette, and Lysithia with us. I haven't even checked Ingrid. I probably should. She looks pretty good, though. She's got 40 HP, which is much higher than... Annette and Lysithia, who don't even have 30 HP. Another Boolean. You guys are so, so very kind. Alright, let's check her out. Um, so, as you would expect from a Pegasus Knight, she already looks incredibly busted. <laughs> she already looks incredibly busted. Wow, 24 speed. That is really, really good. 24 speed, 17 strength, 15 defense, 21 resistance. The other three are pretty good as well. Yeah, she's just really balanced. She's really, really good. She's got Kanto, Avoidance plus 10, Lady Knight, Might plus 3, Hit plus 5 with Gambits. C plus Sword, C plus Lance, D in Riding and Flying. I There's nothing to complain about here. There's actually nothing to, to complain about. Out of, like, all... Out of Ingrid, Annette, and Lysithia, <laughs> Ingrid's probably the best. Honestly, Cynthia is not bad either. Annette is okay, especially that she's got rally strength and rally resistance, so she can essentially double rally, but I don't know. Not as good as it could be, but I should probably give them all some stuff. Stores HP every turn. I think with that one, I would want to give it to... Probably want to give that to Lysithia. Well, maybe not, because... Well, I don't really want to weigh her down. So, I guess... And then give a Leather Shield to Annette and one to Ingrid as well, because why not? Annette and Lysithia already have weapons, but we could see if we have any better versions of them to give them. I mean, it doesn't seem like it, unless we stole one from someone else. Or I guess we could just buy them better ones. Uh, do we have any better lances to give to Ingrid? Nope. All right. Well, whatever. I guess we'll stop by the. <laughs> we'll stop. We'll stop by the store before we head on into battle. Uh, and then with abilities, I did want to check out a few things with Edelgard, so I know for a fact. So resistance plus two would be pretty good. Obviously, weight minus three would be incredible. Hmm. So she can break both axes and lances with her current setup, which is really good. But I think we use axes more than swords with her. So I think if anything we want that weight minus 3 to make her essentially 3 points of speed faster most of the time. Uh, yeah, resistance plus 2, I don't think we really need it. It'd be okay, but I feel like it's either this or HP plus 5. I think HP plus 5 is just a little bit better though because we mainly use her to take physical hits. And we have plenty of people with high resistance, so we don't really need it. And then what does Defensive Tactics do? Battalion Endurance takes half damage. Okay, that sounds pretty good, but I think we can do without. So I think she's good as is. Um, Ingrid has everything she can possibly have. Uh, we could actually make Annette into a rally bot, and I think I'm totally going to do that. Uh, get rid of Axe Prowess, because it's not high enough to the point where I think it really matters. And now she can rally speed, resistance, and strength all at once. Okay, now, you know what? Now she could actually have some legitimate viability. Because she can rally a lot of stats. And she has also got ranged attacking with her magic. And then obviously her magic stat's pretty good as well. So honestly, all three of these um, new recruits can totally fit in with our team, I think. Alright, not bad. And honestly, everyone on our team, besides Anna, but we're not really using her. 
Uh, everyone else, though, is at least level 17. The only one being level 17 is Hanuman. So honestly, everyone is still useful at this point. Which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Because recommended level for this mission is 19, and Hanuman's almost 18, which... 18 is close enough, right? Uh, so I don't think the certifications will change, but once again, I do want to stop by the armory real quick. Uh, and then we can hop on into this battle. So I'll just sell our bullions quick. Because, I mean, they look pretty, but they don't really do much for us. I've already restocked everyone else, made sure they're good. So it's just the new recruits that we need to check on. So, buy Annette an Iron Axe. I'll buy Ingrid a lot of stuff. <laughs> because uh, she's actually got some pretty good um, weapon ranks. So I'll buy her a steel version of a lance, a steel version of a sword. I'll actually buy a javelin as well and just um, store her vulnerary in the convoy. So I'll swap those out after this. And then with uh, Lysithia, we can just give her an iron bow. Just because it's a bit stronger. And then like I said, then with Ingrid, we can just quick store this vulnerary, give it to someone else that has more space in their inventory probably, and then give her this javelin so she has some ranged attack. And then I'll give Annette the extra vulnerary. All right, awesome. And now we can just save. And it is time finally for us to take on the chapter 10 mission. It has been, we've been waiting for it quite some time. This has been available for a long time. We had to do three paralogs, and now we are finally here. So, the Sealed Forest Snare. Suggested level 19. In the pursuit of justice for Gerald, you and your students find yourselves deep in the Sealed Forest. Let's do it. Like I said, since, since we have spent quite a bit of time doing some other stuff, we might have to break this up into two episodes, but uh, if so... Shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'll probably find a good place to stop. But we might be able to finish it. Who knows? Especially if we make the video super long. All right, chapter 10. We are now within the sealed forest. We must not let our guard down. Professor, we'll avenge Gerald for you, no matter what. All right. <laughs> Remember, it is a bad we'll see. idea to get distracted by revenge. I have readiness. Our enemies will be taking... Uh, we will take our enemies down. Well, it's not like we have any other missions this month. I suppose this is as good a way as any to spend our energy. Lindhart spending energy? We'd better finish this fast before the pigs start flying everywhere. Lower your voice. The enemy could be close. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. Professor, I know I'm the one who insisted we come here. But don't doubt for a moment that the enemy is waiting for you. Lady Edelgard, what are you saying? Yeah, what <laughs> what are you saying? What other objective could they possibly have? What, why is my question is why did Hubert get so riled up about that? Like why was he all or not riled up? But why was he all in shock? We have no clue Hubert never gets shocked. Waiting for us. Please be careful, my teacher. Hey, don't worry. I can rewind time eight times. So. <laughs> We'll be fine. I can't afford to lose you. Probably. All right, don't worry. The enemy I'll is do my strong, best. But you will prevail. You must. Also, I love how you guys are all just placing this pressure on me. You're all thinking I'm the strongest. Have you seen stats? Have you seen the stats? Have you been paying attention this whole journey? Edelgard is the best. Edelgard is the best. And Linhart is also probably better than Byleth. <laughs> like, come on. Byla's pretty good, but, like, Edelgard and Linhart, they are on another level. But, hey, thanks for thanks for the vote of confidence. I appreciate that. I appreciate that at the very least. All right, well, time to see what this map looks like. I have no doubt it's probably going to be an absolute pain because that is how it usually goes. But we have done a few um, maps with level 19 recommended already, so I'm not too concerned... Uh, about the difficulty in that sense. So we have, it looks like, 10 units we can bring, plus our standard two adjutants. Uh, monsters, that's 
not exactly what I was expecting. Um, and then it looks like over here, we've got Monica with Atom? Atame? 6 might, 90 hit, and 20 crit. She is an assassin with 38 attack and 42. Count it. 42 attack speed. Oh, well. Um, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not a good thing, I would say. Huh. Well, we're going to have to have to use a lot of ranged attacks on her. All right, she's got Sword Fairy, Lock Touch, Stealth, which doesn't matter because I can see her no matter what. Keen Intuition, Void plus 30 with a foe two or more spaces away. They know what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. But yeah, Monica, we, we really do have to get our revenge, though, because she's the one that did the dirty deed on Geralt. So... This map isn't actually all that big, but it looks difficult and awful. It looks difficult nonetheless. There are 17 enemy units, 10 of our own units. There's one treasure chest over here that I will probably forget about, even though I'm telling you about it right now. So you'd think I would remember, but I probably won't. I'll probably forget about it. And that'll probably be a sad time. Petra, I think, can grab grab it. Yes, she's got lock touch. Okay, and then other than that, I guess it's just time... Well, I should probably check what the stats of some of these other units are. Uh, 20 attack speed, 25 attack, the monsters, 39 attack, 16 attack speed. So still not really that many promoted units. Um, I mean, we actually have seen more promoted units or at least uh, advanced class units in the paralogs than we're seeing here. In fact, there's none except for Monica. She's the only one that is in an advanced class. So, I mean, it's really not looking as bad as it could. Now my question is just who do we want to bring? So we have to bring Byleth. That is not, uh, that's non-negotiable. But who else do we want to bring? We have a lot of options now. Shamir is unavailable. That mmm, because the knights were gone. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, and that also makes sense why she wasn't able to have a conversation with us. Okay, that makes more sense. That makes some more sense. Okay. So we're not using Anna. <laughs> we know that much. So we ruled one out. I think I. I don't know. I mean, magic users will probably be really good, especially three range magic users. So we can bring Hanneman. He's close to a level up, and I think that would be good to have him. We could bring Flayne for rescue magic. I don't think we'll really need it, but we can have it. Uh, do we really want it, though? I'm not sure. I do want to bring Ferdinand. I actually gave him the experience gem, because I kind of want to get him some levels, so I definitely want to bring him. We kind of have to bring Edelgard, always, because she's way too busted to leave behind. Uh, Bernadetta would be really good for taking on the boss. Monica. Yeah, the boss. Monica. Um, does Lysithia have any three range magic? Or is it just all two range? It's all two range. I mean... I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Two range magic is still pretty good. Three range is the best, though. She does have really high magic, though. And she does have... Get double ex skill experience. Yeah, let's try her out. And then... Ingrid is super fast, so I want to bring her as well. Uh, since some of these units are really fast. I think Ingrid will be good with that. Then we can bring Felix. So I'm sure Felix... Ingrid, uh, Felix and Ingrid probably have some supports since they're both from the Blue Lions. And I'm pretty sure they both are like childhood friends or something. And plus Felix is close to a level up. Alright, then who else? Who else? So, 
We definitely want a white magic user. Manuela, we could bring her, but she doesn't have physic. I mean, Flame doesn't have physic either. Gosh. Hmm. Alright, let me think. I mean, Petra, we could bring her because she's fast. That might not be a bad idea either. Yeah, let's bring Petra. And then we need one more... I mean... I would prefer a Physic user. But, like, our Physic users already have a ton of experience. And I kind of want to level some other people up. The question is, do we have enough heal magic? We have Byleth, and that's about it. <laughs> I mean, does Lysithia have any healing magic? She does not. So, the only healing magic so far is Byleth, and that is not enough. That will not cut it at all. We could bring Hubert. Hubert has heal of magic. Um, but I think, if anything, we could bring... Either Manuela or Flane. I'd say let's bring Manuela. And then some of our other units. And then I'd say let's bring Kaspar and Flane as adjutants. So then Kaspar can still get some experience and same with Flane. I'll give Kaspar to Edelgard. Because I feel like Edelgard is going to be attacking a lot. And then I will give Flane over to who do I want? Who do I want to be getting healed? Uh, I guess I guess we could give it to give her to Byleth. Sure. Yeah, let's give her to Byleth. All right, and then whoops, not going to system. And I think that is good. So, whoops. Let's check the map and just make sure everyone's organized well here real quick. Probably want, like, our horses on the outskirts. And then... Edelgard towards the front. We could put another... We could put Bernadetta over here. Felix here. Yeah, I'd say that looks about fine. There we go. All right, perfect. Let's do this. We got this. All right, defeat the enemy commander. Let's Look do it. There, demonic beasts. I suppose they aren't holding back. Why would they when they can have these giant monsters do their bidding for them? <laughs> Hello, you're here. Welcome to the forest of death. <laughs> wow. Well, don't worry. It's uh, it's gonna be the forest of your death, Monica. My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Yeah, you look better. You looked better before. I gotta say. Now, you vermin! I'll take down every last one of you. Yeah, you won't even be able to take down a single one of us. Actually. All right, so Kranya, there we go. Her actual name and her actual look. Def, yeah. Those who slither in the dark, as to be expected. Her stats, still ridiculous. 65 avoidance. Uh, but 20 of that comes from her subordinates. So I guess if we kill the enemy units around her, that'll help us out. And as mentioned earlier, there's a treasure chest over here that we can... That we can get to, if I remember. Alright. Now, yeah, let's turn the damage area on. What does this guy have? Magic staff. Uh, raises might for magical attacks. Magic attack plus three. That's pretty good. I definitely want that. Uh, how many times do we have to fell this guy? Just twice. Is that the same way with all of these guys? Yeah, so the monsters, and there are only four of them, only have to be killed twice. And if there aren't any reinforcements, then that's definitely not that bad. So 16 attack speed, but 39 attack. <laughs> okay. So Felix can take um, take the hit. Because he's fast enough to not get doubled, but that's still going to do a lot of damage. Although, thankfully... Thankfully, we can just... 
pile on a bunch of damage with our bow users and magic users and such. So I'm not all that concerned about it. And now that Edelgard has weight minus three, she is definitely a lot faster. In fact, with a hand axe equip, she's got 13 attack speed, which means she doesn't get doubled by this guy. And he only does 11 damage. This monster over here only does 11 damage to Edelgard. So we can put her in the line of fire. And that's totally fine. And then we just kind of Stay focused. group up the rest of our... We group up the rest of our units. Ready. Uh, split them in half. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. And then hopefully we should be able to... Hopefully we should be able to get the kills and stuff. My turn. All right. So then I'll just uh, keep Petra over here, and Ferdinand can come over here. Same with Manuela. All right, and let's see if we can do this. If this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. <laughs> I intend to kill you. Please don't escape. I want to I want to kill you. <laughs> that sounds super weird. That was a high chance to crit. We didn't get it though because we're not lucky. Oh, and they sealed something of mine. Great. Looks like these things have very low luck. Cuz Felix was Felix has a pretty high crit as well. So I'm guessing if we use a high crit move or weapon or something, we'll have a very high chance to crit then. Uh, don't worry, Kranya. I, I totally intend to challenge you. I will be the one doing the killing, you know, but... <laughs> I definitely don't intend on letting you go. Don't worry. Nothing like that. Not at all. Alright. Curve shot, steel bow. Does more damage. And then that should lower the defenses right there. Move again, not like it really matters. And now we should be able to do a ton of damage. Just keep everyone else... Uh, make sure that we can't get attacked by anyone else. And yeah, we have a really, really good chance to crit. Actually... What's our, what's our highest crit rate magic... It actually is Thoron. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Well then let's just use Thoron. Hey, we actually get the crit. Way to go, Hanuman. 60 damage. <laughs> that was some powerful and very potent magic. Alright, so if I can get this kill with Petra, then Byleth plus Edelgard should probably be able to get the job done. Although, she cannot do it with the bow. Although, Bane of Monsters... Yeah, Bane of Monsters Iron Sword is plenty. She also had a 46% chance to crit. Oh my word, that's like the Dread Fighters from Echoes. <laughs> it's like that powerful. It's like the Dread Fighters from Echoes. Alright. We can Monster Breaker with the Silver Axe, and that does a ton of damage. Not as much as I expected, though. We still have the chance to crit, I suppose. We could Gambit. And that would pretty much force it to go for Edelgard. Hmm. I mean, if we used Ruptured Heaven, we would do 30 damage with a chance to crit. Uh, so we have a chance to take this thing down. But I think I'd rather go for Guaranteed. So what I'm thinking is we can just Gambit. And the Gambit should make it so that this monster here, this demonic beast, just goes for Edelgard. And Edelgard can definitely take the hit, so I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah. Flame Breath. Now, if I heal Edelgard, it's going to do damage to me, too. Or damage to Byleth, too, but I think he'll probably still live it. And I kind of want to get some heal experience. So I'm going to risk it. She actually leveled up her reason skill? That's a really weird 
time to level that up, but okay. Unfortunately, this guy's moving in, and I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Also, I guess I sent Petra in the wrong group. I probably should have sent her over here because there's the chest over here. Oh, well. You know what I could do, though? I could totally silence this guy with Manuela if I want to. How fast is Ingrid? 20 attack speed, so she actually doubles this guy. Yeah. Not bad. So I'm thinking we probably want to silence. Yeah, we can actually back up like two spaces, I think, and still silence. We could back up even further than that if we wanted to. But yeah, let's just silence him. Make it so he can't use magic. So we're not in any danger of taking hits from anything other than this monster here. Stay vigilant. How much damage is she able to do? I'm sure it would be much more if this thing was broken. So I probably should break it first. It's also weak to lances. That could make it that could be really good for Ingrid. Uh, so we live this. So let's just shatter slash. This should lower the monster's defense. I think. Not worth the risk. And then we can back off. This guy still can't attack us. And so Ingrid should be able to do a ton of damage. Yeah, a lot of damage. And I bet Lysithia can also do a ton of damage. Oh yeah, Luna is 26. Yeah, that's a ton of damage. Now I should probably... Oh, I didn't... You know what I didn't do? That I probably should have done? I probably should have given... Probably should have given some. I probably should have given the new units some gambits or some. Well, yeah, battalions. Yeah, that might make that a bit risky. Stay vigilant. Leave it to me. So instead, because it looks like he's just gonna attack this area. I think I'm gonna play it safe Ready. and place Ingrid right here and just have her attack the uh, have her attack the demonic beast. Cause even if it chooses to attack her on the next turn, oh my gosh, she got two crits in a row. <laughs> Ingrid really wanted to take that thing down. It's too bad it had more HP. Even if that thing does attack Ingrid, she'll live. And she's also blocked everyone else off. So that should be fine. This guy's going to use Flame Breath. Um, Edelgard and Byleth both live, which is what mattered. Alright, this Demonic Beast is using Flame Breath again. 30 damage to Ingrid. Alright. Adjutant Heal. Hey! Let's go. So now, Let's take them out. I think what we do, I think the play is just to silence this guy again. He's really not going to get the chance to do much of anything. It's pretty funny. And then... Hmm... Probably send Bernadetta over here because I don't think we need her for uh, that demonic beast. For the other demonic beast. I think the rest of our units can handle that. So I'm going to use her in combination with. Uh, hmm. Stay focused. Now this should still work, I think. 
Okay. I was, I was just uh, wanting to make sure we're fine here, but now that I think about it, yeah, now she should be able to attack him for free. Although, what is her, sp her speed's lowered? Why is that? Yeah, why does it seem like her attack speed is lower than it was earlier? Because wasn't she doubling with the Steel Ants earlier? Hmm. We could see if she'd be able to get another <laughs> critical hit. I don't Not think so. I don't know, is uh, Ferdinand going to be able to do anything helpful? I mean, we could Shatter Slash and hope for a crit. I mean, this also lowers its defense. And now we double. We didn't double early enough, so I guess it was Shatter Slash that. So using Shatter Slash first was what made that move possible last time. Campus Lance does a lot. <sighs> well, I don't think this is going to work out. But in case she gets a crit, we might as well try for it. And then if not, we can rewind time. This is why you always try. My gosh, Ingrid just wants nothing more than to crit everyone into oblivion. And I don't mind at all, honestly. I am totally okay with that. But yeah, now we can even use Lysithia with these other four to take down this demonic beast. I will get the victory. Mm. Three, so with Hanuman and Petra, let's try to break down the defenses and then everyone else can everyone else can come on in and take advantage of it. Take advantage of the uh, lack of defense right there. So we can use Edelgard right here. And use Smash. A pretty good chance to crit. And we do get the crit. And the Minor Crest of Saros. So she just decides that she wants to take that thing down on her own. <laughs> Alright, Edelgard. It's fine with me, I guess. Uh, 25 attack on him. I have 22 resilience, so he takes 6 damage at most. How much would Fire and or Thunder do? 3 or 4 might. So 19 or 20... This guy has 20 resilience, so that would do absolutely nothing. Hmm. Would do absolutely nothing. But it would bait him in, so I suppose there is some benefit in doing it. There's nothing lost anyway. Um, we can heal up Edelgard and move up Lysithia. And now, we just gotta... Yeah, we weren't gonna do any damage. Regardless of what magic we were using. Now, Petra... Can make her way down here, because she should be able to get this chest. And I think Petra and... Lysithia are just gonna switch... Spots. Although Bernadetta also switched spots. So I think we're going to have Ingrid go over here <laughs> with this group. And then Bernadetta can go over here with this group. Um, Alright, let's, let's turn this guy off so that we we know where his range is. And curved shot. Bernadetta. If we can, we might actually want to try to get hit on purpose. I definitely double-clicked on accident. It's not what I meant to do. I definitely did not mean to double click, so that was an unfortunate waste of <laughs> a divine pulse. Oh, no. 
I don't think that will matter too much. But that's definitely not what I was trying to do. Okay, well, in any case, this should still work out because we can use Curved Shot right here with Bernadetta, and then we can Curved Shot again with Felix, and then I think we let Ferdinand get the kill. Stay I think that's what we do. Yeah, our units on this left side are getting a bit worn down. We do have Manuela for heals, though. Uh, Felix actually gets a level up just for um, weakening it. And that's a good one. That's a good one. It's a good one, Felix. Dude, why are all of the units that we recruited... Why, why are all of the recruited units actually just, like, our best units? <laughs> Let's take them out. This is, uh... I don't know. Except for, except for, uh, Linhart. He's, he's always been good. And, and, uh, Edelgard too. Honestly, just like all of the units in this game are pretty good. There's a few that definitely could Not use some improvement, list. but <laughs> for the most part, most of them are pretty good. So now it's just a matter of finding the most accurate thing to hit this guy with. Uh, 82. 77. 87. I think it's the Steel Sword with Wrath Strike is the most accurate. So let's try it. Alright, good. And with that experience gem, uh, Ferdinand is getting a ton of experience. Let's make sure we stay out of their range. Excellent. Okay, now I think we want to bait these people, or these three units in with Edelgard. 35, 43, 37. Ooh, that's some pretty high... <laughs> that's a pretty high um, attack stats. Thankfully, they're all fairly slow, so all I need to do is have 14 attack speed, which we can do with an iron sword, and then some. Uh, because 43, 37, and 35... Um, should be about like 30 something damage. I don't know how much it does with Poison Strike. Hmm. Honestly, it might be better to actually just not try to bait them all in at once then. Yeah, it might be better to not try to bait them all in at once. But I would kind of like to play a little aggressive so we can get to Kranya. I don't matter if we. It doesn't matter if we kill like these units. Um, but as long as we can actually get up to Kranya and kill her. I mean, we don't really have to kill her, because it's not like she drops anything important. But it would be nice. <laughs> it would be fun to do. I'd be glad to do it. I'd be happy that I did, if I was able to. I mean, I think we could definitely kill these guys. Especially if Edelgard actually gets these to attack these two. Especially because she'll get to attack this guy twice. He's got 19 protection... Yeah. Yeah, we should we should be fine to do this. So I'll leave Edelgard here. The iron sword equipped. I think she's fine. And now this guy has 25 attack, so I think Yeah, Lysithia and Hanneman should actually be able to put in some work here because they have some pretty high they have some pretty high resilience. He actually does more damage with his magic because of how little attacks that he has. Even though this, even though this dark mage here has way higher. Well, actually, his protection's not that bad. I guess that, I guess that makes sense. Dark mages are usually fairly bulky. Uh, Luna does a lot of damage, but I guess she only has two uses of it, so we might want to save that. Yeah, let's just use regular Miasma. We get Crest of the Gloucester to activate. So it does a bit more damage. Can... She can't quite reach. I mean, she could reach if I really... If I moved Byleth, but I don't know if the kill is guaranteed. Hmm. What did... What did Sylvain want again? I think he wanted Reason. Well, we're not killing this guy with Reason. <laughs> We're not even coming close. Also, I gave Byleth the rapier that we got in the last episode. Just 
because I thought it would be a pretty good weapon for him to have specifically. <laughs> no, no real other reason. Just thought it would be good. Okay, and then bring Ingrid over there. And now hopefully um, Edelgard can take these hits. <laughs> And if only we had left uh, Axe Breaker on her, we would have had better accuracy or er, better dodge against that one guy. Oh well, some of these units are running in. That's no, that's not that's not what I would call ideal. Let's turn these three off because we're assuming we kill them. We don't know that we're going to kill them, but we assume that we will. We hope that we will. So these guys, fairly slow, have very little resilience, but they are very strong. And our best magic users are over here. How much movement they have? They have seven movement. I think we could run away from them if we want to, which we might. How much attack do they have? They have 38 apiece. I think we gotta bait it over to um, bait them over to the group on the right if we want to kill them. So I think we're gonna have to try I will get the victory. to just stay out of their range. I really don't want to move Petra too far away because I want to get that treasure chest, but it's it's seeming like a dangerous <laughs> endeavor at this point. You can definitely try it though and if it doesn't work out rewind time okay one two three one or we could do like one two shoot three four five six seven so we'd have to use dead eye but we are we're fairly accurate so yeah we'll dead eye just for some chip damage or we'll miss an 80 and closer don't know what that does, but uh, we do have A rank in both, so that's pretty good. She could become a sniper if we want to make her into one. So that is an option we have. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tack, tack, tack. Hmm. Do 24 damage to Felix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can keep Felix safe, however. Because if we move like this, then we can heal Felix up and then he'll be able to take a hit. Although I should have traded him over to an iron sword instead. That was my bad. <laughs> that was just a bad play. I should have totally switched him over to an iron sword. If it ends up costing me, once again, I can always turn... Er, turn back time. I was going to say turn wheel. It's not what it's called. It's divine pulse. Okay, but these three, they have, uh, they don't have that great of defense in general, so we should be able to, should be able to take them out. Can we take one of them out with Ingrid? It doesn't look like it. It is nice to have someone that can consistently double, though. I mean, we could kill kill with uh, Tempest Lance if we land. I don't think that's a good idea though, so I guess we'll have her attack the bow user. Who's our weakest unit over here? I don't know actually. All of our units are pretty strong. Can I kill this guy with fire? I can. Fire's my most accurate magic. Alright, let's try it. We need to get our reason up. We even get Crest of Flames. One HP back. Not bad. And hey, a level up. Can we get Dexterity? Hey, we do. Now Now we just need defense and two points of defense and then everything will be at least 15. All right. Uh, we got more magic. So our magic's becoming more viable. I really should change it to a, a class that's going to be more likely to get strength and speed soon, though. Um, definitely, definitely once I'm done using Reason, or once I'm done recruiting Sylvain, I'm probably going to... Uh, 
work on his axe rank and then try to get him to become a hero. Or I guess work on his sword rank and try to get him to become a sword master. Either one's fine. I mean, there's another class I have an idea of that would probably be useful too, but <laughs> we'll just we'll wait and see on that one. I'm not going to Think this through. I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything about that just yet. Um, okay, this guy's fast. We could probably gambit him if we wanted to. Or we don't have a gambit on you. We have a gambit on you. It's very inaccurate, though. <laughs> so it almost would just be better to not gambit. Uh, can we double? We can double with an iron sword onto this archer. Yeah, so we should be able to take them all down. Um, let's use Sagitte. Weaken this guy, and then I think Edelgard can get the kill. Animan is almost level 18. <laughs> Very close. One point of experience away. Not bad, not bad. And then with Wrath Strike, Iron Sword. We can take this guy down for sure. And now we should just be able to attack this guy with the Iron Sword. And then Lysithia can hopefully take him down. Oh, that, that, uh, thought she was stronger in general than she is. Well, we got to rely on a 26. <laughs> Gosh. That was a very depressingly long... Well, now that means he's going to kill someone else. That was a very depressingly long animation just for it to be a miss. <laughs> okay, we could try something different next time. But yeah, now that we left him alive, not good. Alright. Well, since we're doing that... Let's go back to before Manuela moved, and take them out. what we'll do instead is trade him over to the Iron Sword first, so that he'll actually be able to counterattack on that um, on this Cavalier that's going to run up on him. Other than Stay that, focused. though, I mean, I think. I think we can keep a fairly similar strategy at the start. I think we'll just do something a little different after that. Send the hammer to the convoy. And now what I'm thinking is, instead of what we did last time, we're going to... So Sagittate does 24 damage. How much damage does she do? 18 would leave him at 27. Is there any magic we have that would do 27? No, we have 26 with Thoron. Ah, uh, we could try that, because I think there was a chance for her to do 19 with something other than the absolute strongest magic she had. Also, that level up was underwhelming, Hanuman. I guess you want to get replaced? Uh, it's fine. M Miasma is enough to take him down. Do. Alright, but now we've got Edelgard as an option against this bow user, which should make it a lot easier to take him down. <laughs> because I have no doubt in my mind that she'll be able to, to kill him. No doubt whatsoever. Yeah, she can do it with Wrath Strike, Iron Sword. Edelgard is just too good. What can I say? Edelgard is too good. Alright, so just a minor adjustment, and that was all we really needed to do. Alright, this guy runs up on Felix. We have poor accuracy, but we do double, and we land the second hit, which is pretty good. And the second Cavalier goes toward our uh, second group on the right, which is, which is what we want. Because, um, 
Now, what I'm thinking we do is we can kill this Cavalier while also staying out of this guy's range. Or if we kill him with the group on the right, that gives us a lot more space. And then we just have to... Well, honestly, we can start sending Petra over here. And as long as the others don't follow her... As long as these guys over here don't follow her... Uh, she'll be able to safely make her way over to the chest. And I think they will still go this way. I think they'll go this way. Because we have way, many, way more units over here. So I think they'll be more inclined to come this way. But I'm not entirely sure. Oh well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we should be able to get away from this guy. At least with the units that are um, the most in danger of dying to him. How far can this guy go? So we can't go further than like here to attack this guy if we wanted to attack him. I think we're just going to back off this turn. What turn is it, by the way? It's turn six. Okay, I don't know what turn Kranya flees at. I don't want her to flee. If she flees, it's not the worst thing. But I do want to kill her. But at the very least, she doesn't drop something like the Death Knight, so it's not the end of the world if she flees. Um, I do think we want to kill this guy, though, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attack. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, attack. So, that cavalier can't attack this space right here. One, two, three, four, five. And he can't attack this space either. So anyone that attacks right here is totally safe. And does not have to take any damage under any circumstance. The question is, how do I want to kill this guy? Something I think is more <laughs> a more important question right now. I mean, I feel like Felix is probably one of our strongest options. Maybe Felix plus Ferdinand would be able to do it. So that's 13. How much can Ferdinand do? He could do 19 with a Gambit. Which might not be a bad idea. Uh, that's a big gambit boost. Alright, let's try it. Alright, we land it. Perfect. Boom. That means this guy is good as dead. Now we can send Ferdinand up here afterwards. Uh, this guy is as good as dead. The curve shot with the iron bow. Felix can get the kill. So I think that's what I'll do. Another win. Alright. Ferdinand's pretty close to a level up as well. Probably would only need to attack people twice or something like that because of the experience gem. I don't know how much the experience gem boosts uh, boost experience by, but I would assume it's a pretty decent amount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Attack. Hmm. All right, well, if I put someone here, then these two spaces are safe. So if I put Edelgard... If I put Edelgard right here, that automatically creates some extra safe spaces. One, two, three, four, five, attack. So these three spots are all safe. No one can get hit in these three spots as long as we kill this guy. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have Night Kneeler, that does 19, so we need to do 23 damage. We can do 24 with Thoron. Alright. Perfect, we land it. So now as long as we land this Night Kneeler, we'll be able to kill this guy. 86% chance. And Ingrid is amazing, so she's definitely not missing. Alright. And now... I don't think I'm going to be able to get Byleth to safety. If I have the Rapier equipped, all I'll need to do is use a Vulnerary. She has a Vulnerary. Lysithia has a Vulnerary. 
So I'll just have to trade something to Lysithia and then get that Vulnerary from her. Uh, I'll temporarily trade. I don't think I'm going to be using the Iron Lance much. So I'll do that. Equip the Rapier to make sure we're fast enough to not get killed. Or not get doubled, but same thing pretty much. Then we'll use that... Whoops. Meant to press L. Yeah, use the Vulnerary... Or, yeah, use the Vulnerary and then... We're good. I, for some reason, I thought I said the wrong thing, even though I said the right thing. Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay, we can heal up with Manuela, get her a level up. Not that great, but acceptable, I guess. Move Bernadetta over to, like, here, maybe. See if we can keep drawing people to the right. Uh, and away from Petra is the main thing. Do not want Petra taking any hits. If they all go toward Petra, that would pretty much be a death sentence for Petra. I do not think she would be able to handle it. But now that that is now that they didn't go this way, we can send Petra to the left, and now all that is left are these five units over here: the two demonic beasts and Kranya. All right, cool. Eh, we still got a bit of time, so we can keep going, I guess. Uh, 30 HP. How much do I... Not Sword of the Creator. Can't double. How much does your magic do? Uh, I can't even kill with Luna. Okay, I think the two most important units that we need to kill are these two archers, because they have a lot of range... We could kill both the archers and these two units as well. That would be ideal. Or if we could at least gambit these two. If we could gambit these two, that'd be really good. Um, I already used one with Ferdinand, but I think he has another. Yes, but it's very inaccurate. Probably because no one else is around. Edelgard. Why does she not have... I already used it, I guess. Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. I did use it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Yo, we could almost just Oko this guy. <laughs> almost with Monster Breaker Silver X. Well, let's see. We have nine units over here, so if we can take each of these guys out with two units apiece and then just make sure that anyone in range to get hit by this guy it will live will be fine so he has 41 attack what if we had Felix in there we could if we healed him with Manuela ah he's not fast enough to double with the steel sword unfortunate oh, oh he almost he almost did it with the crest activation uh, just a bit, just a bit shy though. One, two, three, four. Now if we can javelin, seventy percent accuracy. Come on, Ferdinand. Hey, there we go, my man, Ferdinand. And just like that, he's level nineteen. Speed, defense, charm, not amazing, but speed and defense are two good stats. So I'll let it slide this once, I suppose. And then, like I said, now we can bring Manuela over here to heal Felix. So that he can take a hit from this knight. And whoever um, goes to attack this guy head-on has to also be able to take a hit from the knight. So I think that would be... Would have to be someone that I don't need to heal, I think. 16 protection... 41 attack, that's 25. She has 27 HP. So I guess we'll use Tempest Lance. It's super strong. Okay. Could move out of the way, but I don't think we need to. 
And now, can we kill with Hanuman? We could, technically, but it's only a 40% chance. Lysithia, 65% chance, slightly better. Hand Axe, not enough. How much does a Steel Bow with Deadeye do? Still not enough, okay. Is anyone able to take this guy out by themselves? I don't know, oh, yep. Byleth, and Blaze actually bleeds over into the guy on the left as well. All right, so using this Gambit will get us a kill and it will stun the other Cavalier, making everything else much easier to do. So now he's stuck there, so we can use two units to kill this guy if we need to which is definitely the safer way to play it. So we'll curve shot with an iron bow onto this guy. Hopefully he misses us. 46. Hey, we get the dodge. Nice. C rank and authority. Battalion wrath. All right. And now, who do I want to give this kill to? I guess we'll give it to Lysithia. That works. 90% accuracy. All right, sweet. I just worked harder. It's a kill for her. Making a good impression already. Uh, and then I suppose I'd like to give the kill to Hanuman if I can, because he's the lowest level out of everyone that still has a chance to get a kill. And yeah, we can do it with fire. Perfect. Our team is our team is actually really coming together now. <laughs> it's actually. I feel like this game is actually getting a lot easier. I, I feel like the Paralogs had something to do with it. Ingrid's not going to be able to do any damage, but that's fine. Because we have magic users who will be able to very, very easily... will be able to very easily uh, finish that night off. So now we can get the Speed Ring. That's actually pretty good. But I gave that to Byleth in combination with his Speed Plus 2 thing that he already has, he would be at 20 speed. And then just imagine if I made him like a sword master, dude, Byleth would be <laughs> Byleth would be moving. Byleth would be moving around. Uh yeah. So now Yeah, I think Petra's just gonna have to take the path to the left to try to catch up. I don't know that she's gonna be able to catch up. We can try. I think we're going to have to use magic to take this guy out because he's got way too high of defense. Lysithia could take care of him herself. All right. <laughs> Let's go, Lysithia. Hey, you know what? If you want to if you want to be able to do that, then you know what? I, I do not have any objections whatsoever. And then we can recover Edelgard to full with Byleth. And then proceed to throw her in the range of this demonic beast over here. And then proceed to just bring everyone else up. I'll put Ferdinand here so that Manuela can actually heal him up. So that maybe he can be useful in taking on uh, the, the monster. And yeah, just keep moving everyone else in. All right, sweet. Yeah, I definitely think our team is really coming together. I think now that we are a bit farther in the game, surprisingly, I feel like I feel like it's getting a bit easier. I feel like the game overall is getting a bit easier now that our units are more leveled up. Which I mean, I guess usually happens. I feel like the middle of the like a fire emblem Dif hard difficulty challenge mode run thing is always like the easiest part like like the hardest difficulty like when you're playing on the hardest difficulty in a fire emblem game i feel like the middle part of the game is the easiest is what i'm trying to say like at the beginning it, it's really hard because your units have terrible stats and you usually only have a few units and everything is just super super terrifying and towards the middle you assemble a team you get really 
busted, your stats get a lot better, and things just are generally a lot better. But then towards the end, the enemy units usually get incredibly high stats. I don't know if that's going to be the case in this game, but I feel like that's the case in Lunatic mode in Awakening. It starts out really hard, then it gets pretty easy, and then it gets kind of hard again towards the end, and it's just like... <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of interesting. Uh, but fun nonetheless. Alright, so now I think we just try to take this guy on. So, three range is our best friend right now. <laughs> Three range is our best friend because this guy can't counterattack us and we basically just start chipping away his defenses. Which is why uh, that's what I think should be the play. Cannot do it with her. Hanuma, we ran out of three range. Oh, except we didn't. Uh, but we can't do any damage, so it doesn't matter. We moved Edelgard, like, right here. Well, if we just let Edelgard take the hit, it pretty much ensures everyone else's safety, and then we can get a lot of our units closer to make sure that we can actually do stuff on the next turn. So I think that's what I'm going to do, is just focus on getting everyone healed up this turn and, like, get everyone closer. And then I'll just let Edelgard take this hit. Although I'm not going to actually throw anything at him. I'll let him actually attack me first. So I feel like this is the safer way to play this. I do not want to make any risky moves that I don't need to. Um, oh, he just replenished his shield. Huh. That's fine, though fine because now we have two three range attackers in here so this guy is basically doomed do not see him standing any chance whatsoever so we'll start with curved shot with the with a curved shot from Bernadetta get him out of the or get her out of the way excuse me so that Felix can come on over here and get the shot off which will break the monster's defenses and thus will allow us I am to do some good damage. Think this so Edelgard might actually just be able to straight up murder? No, but almost. <laughs> Not quite, but almost. What we could probably do Let's use Ferdinand can Gambit, but I don't think that's what we need. Sword is actually super effective, so we'll use that and just get him to run on out of there. And then now I think um, that Monster Breaker Silver Axe is enough to kill. It's worth it. Let's go for it. Take him down. Or take him part of the way down. Strength, dexterity, charm, not terrible. Could be better. So his plan is to attack Edelgard next turn? I don't know why that's the case. I do feel like he might be lying. <laughs> I feel like it might be lying to me. But I don't think anyone else can die from it. So I think we're fine, because we can just move by left here. Yeah, Felix should definitely be able to take a hit. Um, the only one that couldn't... The only one that possibly couldn't take a hit would be Ferdinand. Um, and that would... But if we switched him over to a lighter weapon... Yeah, if we switch him over to the Iron Axe, I think he would be fine. Although this thing's attack speed is at 10, so never mind. It's not at 16 anymore. So then I guess we'll just uh, stay here. Thank you. Yeah, we'll just wait for um, this demonic beast to 
attack Edelgard. And then we should be fine. We can keep set sending Petra over here. For when we inevitably do get the chance to take on um, Kranya. If we do. I don't know what turn is it. I feel like it's only like turn 10? Turn 11. Kind of close. I don't know what turn she leaves. I would assume it would... I don't know, maybe after turn 15 or something? Definitely... I don't know. Maybe after turn 20, 25, maybe? I'm I'm not sure exactly. I wish it told me so I could be better prepared, but... It's alright, I guess. So is this still down? The shield's still down there? It is. Alright. Well, we'll start off with Edelgard. She doesn't take too much damage, so that's fine. Now we can use Felix. Get a little bit more of chip damage off. And if we can give this to Lysithia, that would be good, I think. If we, if we can. Hmm... Maybe. Uh, all right. Ferdinand actually can take this just fine. He doesn't get a crit, which is good for us. <laughs> he gets two dodges. Not bad, Ferdinand. Not bad. Now if we move... I let down one, we should be able to let Lysithia get in there and get the kill, which I think would be a level up for her. Yeah. Alright, perfect. I mean, she would totally die if she missed, but at least she had 100% accuracy. That was not a level up. Huh. Well, that's not entirely bad because we can just have her do some chip damage on something later and get a level up, probably. Um, no one is in range to get attacked by that other demonic beast yet. I mean, we could have Petra take the hit, but that's going to actually be baiting the beast away from where I want to bait him. So I want to bait him towards my giant pile of units. Now the question is, does Kranya move? She does. Okay. Well, if we get her off this heal tile, that's probably beneficial for us anyway. My question, though, is um, she's got 38 attack and 42 attack speed. I don't know that we necessarily want to attack her. Um, how much? 42, so that's 14 to Edelgard twice. So, I mean, Edelgard can take the hit. <laughs> Edelgard can take the hit. I just don't know that we're going to be able to... I mean, we probably could just combine with everyone else to kill her. But I'm not sure. Alright, and then if we put someone down here... Then we can bait in the Demonic Beast as well. So, 39 attack. 17, 17. Alright, Ferdinand should be just fine. We can even... Use a javelin to make sure that we get the counterattack. And then just move everyone else in so that they're able to help get some kills when these two enemies run up on us. Alright, so we'll heal up with Manuela, heal up with Byleth as well. And then just move these two closer. And Petra can stay right where she is. She is not going to bait that thing in by herself. What are you? Are you here to kill me? I am. Prepare yourself for death while you still can. I love how honest Edelgard is. Are you here to kill me? Yeah, I am. That's just this is what I was planning on doing. Twenty-three hit. Oh, cause she went in the bushes too. That. Jerk. 
Dang. And <laughs> Ferdinand does zero damage. Okay, we may need to redo this. <laughs> How accurate is our magic? I mean, we definitely have a chance with our magic. My question is, do we have any gambits? We have a gambit with Ferdinand. Yeah, Sword of the Creator, zero chance to hit. Uh. I'm thinking if we just place Byleth here, though. You're a fool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. I'm just thinking if we place Byleth here, then we'll get a bigger gambit boost with Ferdinand, and then have a greater chance to hit her. So if we can hit her with a gambit, she's as good as dead. <laughs> have to kill you too with my own hands. Doesn't matter, even if I miss. But I don't miss, because I am Byleth. And apparently I am the strongest out of everyone in the monastery. Even though I disagree. Alright, 70 accuracy? Perfect. Oh, how cute! You're trying so hard! But now it's time to die! I wouldn't insult Ferdinand if I was you. Ferdinand does not take too kindly. When someone tries to... Um, tries to underestimate him. Well, in any case, now she should uh, be all but screwed because her attack speed's down, uh, her avoidance is way, way, way down, protection and resilience are also down, so... <laughs> like, Hanuman should have much better accuracy now. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Not even a problem. Not even a problem. 86? No problem. Alright. Now the question is, are we going to be able to at least... Are we going to be able to kill this guy too? I don't think so, but we might be able to take down at least one of his things of HP. Um, see if we can get a hit off with Lysithia. She would kill. That's fine. I, I wouldn't mind giving the kill to her. Alright, well in any case, then let's try to get a kill on him. At least take down one set of his HP. Petra's not able to get close enough. I'll have to give Petra more experience next time we use her. Uh, in the next map. Or if this map happens to have a second part to it, which I think it might. Don't remember, it's been a while. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely not using Lysithia for that. We could use our bow users, though. So, one, two, three, four. Curved shot. And then move her out of the way and get uh, Felix in there. Yeah. Then we can break down his armor. And then maybe be able to take down one set of his HP. Uh, I just want to do this for experience. No other reason, really. He doesn't drop anything or anything like that hmm hmm I'm just wondering are we gonna be able to do this eh, problem eh, maybe I don't know Try, let's try anyway. Let's let's at least get as much damage off as we can onto this guy. And we can use a Tempest Lance, maybe get a crit. Ingrid is a crit machine after all. No, but she does get her minor crest to go off. So <laughs> she did do pretty well with that. All right, and now I mean Edelgard could probably do it, but I don't know that I want to. Ah, uh, she can't even anyway. I feel like there would be a better chance if I just used Smash, because it has a better chance to crit. So... Yeah, I'll just try to Smash with the Steel Axe. If we get the crit, great. If not... Oh well. Alright, no crit. So that'll just be some normal experience. And then as long as Lysithia hits, we're fine. If she happens to miss, we can always rewind time. 
which is why I didn't mind setting up, uh, which is why I didn't want, mind leaving this up to a 72. If, if this was a different situation, I definitely wouldn't have. I would have exhausted every other option to make sure I could kill uh, Kranya. But since I'm not concerned about that, we can do this, and we land anyway. Lysithia lands the attack uh, and gets a level up. All right, first level up on the team. And it is a great one. <laughs> and it's a great one. Magic and speed. Not bad. All right. And that's Kranya down. Oh, and Byleth's going for the final kill. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Because my friends are strong, and because I landed a lucky 33% hit. Oh. Don't just stand there and stare. I need your help. Yes, you most certainly do. Yeah, I've got a bone to pick with you too, Solon. Don't worry about it. Oh. That's not what I thought. Have no fear, Kranya. Your sacrifice. This world of the filthy vermin that have long infested it. Wow, Solon is hardcore. <laughs> Willing to sacrifice his own teammate. Uh, this. Doesn't look good for us, though, either. The time is finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies. Well, she's dead. Eh, you killed my father, so... <laughs> I think you deserve this. I don't, though. Oh, well... Well, what's this forbidden spell of Zaharas gonna do to us? Hmm. Be gone with you, Felstar. Felstar... That could only have been magic. What happened to our professor? Well, apparently, we're gone. We just got transported somewhere. They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. To think we almost had the sword of the creator. You're lying. Our professor is alive. I know it. That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. <laughs> you guys think so highly of me. It is hard to fathom that our professor would die in a place like this. Yeah, no, for real though. They think so highly of Byleth. It's like... <laughs> it's just funny because my Byleth really hasn't gotten like that many... I don't know, our... My, our, <sighs> my Byleth is not that... It's, it's just really not that impressive. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's he's mediocre at best. It honestly, is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. <laughs> like looking at your ugly face. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape, overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> it must be torturous. You're already boasting a victory, but know this. If you did use such devious tricks to stop our professor, I swear that you will regret it. That is very true. You, you, you sent the wrong person away. You used the spell on the wrong person. You should have taken Edelgard away. She's the real hero of this story. I but agree with her this once. Even if our professor is trapped in darkness, that is not the end of their story. I will not forgive such arrogance. If you prefer it so, you shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. Once again, you're not taking down Edelgard. There's zero chance. Absolutely zero chance. Oh, there we are. We are 
in a realm of nothingness, just as he said. Hey, if <laughs> if any of you have seen my or Paper Mario the Origami King series or have played the game for yourselves, hey, maybe we're just trapped between the wall. <laughs> that's everyone else that's in that game that's trapped in a space between worlds is just behind a wall. You fool! What? What are you blaming me for? What were you thinking charging right into an enemy's trap? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. <laughs> I can explain. Excuses won't help us. This darkness is terrifying. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? Yeah, sure, why not? How very brave of you to joke at times like these. Hey, we've cheated death plenty of times. To be fair, we honestly deserve to die uh, in that paralogue. We only got out of there because we were able to rewind time. So, to be fair, we've already cheated death. <laughs> it's, no it's kind of it's kind of a, a fair thing to happen at this point. It would be kind of it would kind of be fair for us if we actually did die here. <laughs> kind of we kind of deserve it at this point. What choice though? What are you talking you about? Your father's diary. He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. Yep, the goddess that the goddess of uh, the monastery my name is Sothis by now you must be well aware of what that means mm -hmm. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there I am Sothis she who died and then returned somehow I know it to be true it I mean that's you can rewind time so to, to save us from this darkness of eternity must now use the power of a god. However, I lack a body of my own. And so I must relinquish all the power that I have to you. The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, then I shall disappear. Disappear? When I Why? Say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. But if we have the same soul, how... Uh, how, how exactly does that work? So long have I been on this path hmm. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. I mean, it would have to kind of feel like a prison at that point, being trapped inside someone's head. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Thank you for everything, Sothis. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. All right, then. Let's make Solon pay. <laughs> your will and mine are now as one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do?
Well. There it is. We have now joined our power with that of Soth. Oh, we're going Super Saiyan. Oh, and there goes the sword of the creator. All right, Solon, you will pay for this. And now the fell star is about to consume you. Now you like them apples, Solon. That's right. I'm back. It is you, right? I knew that you would always come back to us. Yeah, my hair changed colors, but that's fine. I'd like to ask about your appearance, but for now, let's dispose of our enemies. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there. Or I'll just dispose of you, and then you'll still never have the chance to send me back there. Alright, some more units are spawning. Yes. And just like that. Fusing with Sothis allowed the Sword of the Creator to regain its true power. Right. With this, we have become more powerful. Not our stats. I think our stats are the same. But <laughs> the Sword of the Creator has become stronger. It is now the Sublime Creator Sword. 15 might. And its uses were restored. If I had remembered that that happened, I would have totally used that more in this battle. And eh, not like it really matters. But yes, and there's also more battle to be had. Apparently this demonic beast is also still alive, but that's fine, because it's very low. And yes, there is a second part of this map. Which I thought was the case, but I didn't want to claim it any... I, w I didn't want to claim it for certain. But I feel like that is a perfect spot um, to end today's episode. I think... Yeah, I think we've done plenty. We completed the first half of this month's mission, and I think that's good enough. We have... Ascended. We have become one with Sothis. Our sword, the sword of the creator, has regained its true power and is now the sublime creator sword. And now it is time to make Solon pay. But we will do that in the next episode. So, yeah, that's <laughs> that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It would really help out the channel, and I would very much so appreciate it. In the next episode, we will finish off this map. We will take down Solon. And we will move on with the story. But unfortunately, without Sothis, we'll no longer be able to communicate with her. So we lost Geralt not too long ago. Now we lost Sothis. Man, we're really just losing everyone, huh? Oh well. That's all the more reason why we need to make Solon pay for what he has done. But like I said, that'll be next episode. So yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. But that's going to do it for me today. So yeah, peace!